hello friends welcome to free cat part modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to model the pipe with flange as you can see that I have already made it pipe with flange with respect to our 2d drawings and I will show you from the scratch how I made this model and I will also provide the 2d drawing and 3d models link in my video descriptions so you can practice with yourself and in case of any doubt you can refer my model so this model having so many features so if I start from the scratch then this video will be too lengthy therefore I will show you the features each by each how I did it so that it will be easy for you to understand this model feature so before starting this video if you like my method of teaching and if you want to appreciate my work then you can support me on coffee.com its link is given in a video descriptions please visit the link and get the more information and uh, your kind support will help this channel to grow and at the same time never forget to like subscribe and share my video so let's start our tutorial so here I will go to my base features you can select the features and press the space bar on your keyboard then it will be active so here is my base features if I go in the top view so you can see here I have adapted the dimension as per my 2d 2d drawing so if I if, I, if you see here so this is a 52.5 here I have adapted 52.5 R40 this radius and this center dimension 91 so I have uh, made the sketch and fully constrained in and and I made a pad of a 10 mm thickness which you can see here so this is the my base feature and after that uh, I have uh, made a datum plane at uh, this datum plane is uh, of uh, distance 20 mm from the base and if I go in edit datum feature so you can see that the z direction is 20 and then I made a uh, revolve features which is the this feature here this features and if I go in this case so you can see that here its height is 10 and this is 40 this pipe diameter is here 40 so this pipe connection will come here so therefore I have a 2 radius 20 and this is height is 10 and this angle is 90 therefore I take a 45 degree and I have a revolve it <coughs> now I will go to the isometric view and I will off this datum plane so this is the base solid features now you if you see here inside there is a groove cut inside here so for that uh, I will on my groove feature here and I will show you the sketch so if I go in wireframe view then you will be able to see the sketch so this is the groove features so its dimension you will get here 74 so 37 radius I have took and here is its cut height is 4 and this is the parallel with my outer edge so I made it parallel and inside diameter of this pipe is 30 so that's why I have a took here 15 and with respect to this axis I have a made a revolve cut now I will on the flat lines and I will rotate my model then you will able to see that that uh, I have a made a groove cut here now we will move to the next feature now we will go to the pocket 
and pocket is our second hole here and its dimension is 30 because here this pipe has been not defined but uh, we have considered is 30 actually in this drawing there are some dimension are the missing which I have uh, assumed from my side so this is the 30 I have considered it and I made a cut now I, I will move to the next feature so in next feature I have a draw a datum plane and this datum plane is 143 mm 143 mm from our origin plane so if I go here and if I on the origin plane so this is the 143 mm from this YZ plane now we'll off the features now I will on the sketch so here I have made the sketch here means this is our diameter 40 and 30 if you see from here from the side view sorry on the top view we can see that it is on the same axis that's why I have uh, made on the same axis and its height is given is 60 here so I have given my height 60 and here is the diameter 40 and 30 and I will close it now I will move to the next feature so on next features I have a draw a two circle here by projecting the edges and then I have a made a guide curve and this guide curve if I on my origin plane so this guide curve is on the exit plane because here is our the center this one and this one okay so if you see on the top this is how our axis is here now I will move to the isometric now we will on our swift features so I have selected one of the profile from here and this axis so this is how I made the pipe now I will off the datum plane now we will move to the next feature now next one is a, a datum plane which I have a if I see from the origin so we have made a, a datum plane from our XY plane so so this pipe this pipe which is going from the side it will not directly merge on this one so we will made a, a small I have made a small pipe which you will see in uh, upcoming steps so what I did I draw a datum plane and uh, made a pad here and I selected up to face if I see this feature here so I have selected up to face I have selected this face and now I have uh, made a cut I will off this datum plane then I made a cut I took the internal diameter and I have uh, made a cut up to the surface up to this one and then I draw a datum plane here which is passing through this and uh, by going to the dimension here in edit pad sorry edit datum you will see the dimension is 7081 in fact this dimension is not given here but we can easily find out from the flange if you go in a sketch and uh, if you select these two points and select horizontal dimension then you will find this dimension so this dimension is not given here which I have a 
took from this sketch so we were here at the datum plane and then I have uh, made a two circle here with respect to our pipe profile dia 40 and 30 and I made a swept curve on this plane datum plane 003 and then I swept the pipe here now we will move to the next feature then it is the datum 004 so this is the datum plane which I have uh, took from my origin plane means from this plane which is yz plane so this is the 143 this one plane and now on this plane I have uh, made a pad I have made a pad of uh, 11 mm and then I made a cut of this 3 mm after that I have uh, made the hole on this plate and I have uh, made a polar pattern by with respect to this axis and then I have made one hole here and similarly I did a polar pattern with respect to this edge and after that I made a hole on my this flange and I did a polar pattern and if you have uh, any query about uh, this polar pattern or small features of a uh, FreeCAD I have a separate uh, playlist on my channel FreeCAD features where you will uh, learn the polar pattern linear pattern and uh, other small features so to modeling this part pipe with flange you have to be uh, aware about the basic modeling feature of a FreeCAD and then I have a uh, given some small fillet here this and this here so this is how uh, we have a uh, model our pipe with a uh, flange and uh, if you want to give some color then you go to the body go to the appearances and shape color and you can give some color to your model so this is how to model pipe with a flange i hope uh, you have liked this tutorial and in case of any doubt you can refer my model I will provide this model link and 2D drawings in my video description